you have to try pretty hard to not be musical if you're from Newfoundland and Labrador. Music is in our heritage. The waves. Putt-putt boats. The flutter of a bird taking off from a rock. You're hearing this symphony of rhythms. That's not just something that people are producing on instruments. Classical music's taken me outside. It's taken me on East Coast trails and in communities in Newfoundland I've never been to before. The whales, the birds, the wind, unless you experience that and know that, I don't think you can truly communicate it in your playing. To perform something so specific and so unique about this place, you really need to be from it and live it and understand the place. Mozzie. Rumper, skiffer, yaffle, not a rumper, skiffle, yeah. <laughs> this ocean that surrounds us is who we are. And there's hundreds and hundreds of folk songs that have been brought over from England and Ireland. People that built this place. France, Portugal, Basque countries. There are more dialects in Newfoundland and Labrador than anywhere else in North America. And that's why we have so many beautiful words and accents. History is running through every single one of us, coming together in song. After people started leaving England and Ireland to come to the New World, some of these people brought the accordions with them. And that's how it arrived here. The accordion is a social instrument. It's very down to earth, and it's very much the sound of Newfoundland. Years ago in Newfoundland, the accordion was played in people's homes, in community halls, to facilitate dancing. So it became a very popular instrument with the folk. If you had the ability to play and people wanted to have a dance, well, you were required to play, and uh, you could be at that all night. So when no one was looking or listening, I'd try to learn to play it. The unique thing is that it uses air to produce the sounds. So in a sense, the accordion is alive the human aspect of the instrument. It's, it's there in, in the breathing of the instrument. We'll say the dancers on the dance floor who have just finished one of these uh, old-fashioned square dances and they're all out of breath, huffing and puffing, and, you know, the, the accordion has been playing and it's probably out of breath too from, uh, you know, from all the huffing and puffing. Music is when you don't have the words. It is my responsibility as an artist, as a musician, as an educator, to pass on that passion for culture, for music, for community. Everybody can sing. When you go and stand on the edge of a cliff, and you realize the power of all this water crashing, and you feel the waves going through you. The music is all around us. There are a lot of percussionists and drummers from Newfoundland. Everybody has this sense of rhythm. Singing is part of life. Having a voice is a large part of the culture of Newfoundland and Labrador. It's all about storytelling. I think there's more musicians per capita in Newfoundland and Labrador than you'll find in many other places. We've remained close to the music. It's not you're either an audience member or you're a performer. You can be both. It's music of the people. The waves are definitely an inspiration. Many open strings roll like waves. I find a great connectedness to the wind. And I think that helps the waves crash harder. And everywhere I go, I miss the wind. There's always lots of seagulls around. So I listen to bird sounds. It just sounds like home. And you just play. If you have a sense that nature is a part of the music that you're playing, a nice track quality to some of the composition, there's imagery there that you can interpret based on your own experience. If only we could bring this into the concert hall or bring 
all the audience to this cliff, <laughs> you know. That's what this composition is. Hundreds of years of blood flowing through music. You'll rarely, if ever, see an accordion with violins and cellos and oboes and clarinets in a classical music setting. 